What's up, YouTube? Luke, the window cleaner. Brianna. Take two. Take two. Whenever you guys look at my face and I look like really pissed off to be here, it's normally because this is like the third or fourth or fifth or sixth take. And I'm just like... Today, uh, the weather's warming up, so residential is uh, already starting up. We've been uh, booking jobs for the last couple of weeks, and finally we got a, a good break to, uh, to actually get to them. So we're doing, we're gonna clean a home for a real estate agent that we work with this morning. Uh, then we're cleaning a modern home downtown. Then we have a construction cleanup, outside only. Oh, tell them about your new concealer. Oh, I started using Tarte Shape Tape. It's a new concealer. It looks very good. You could be a beauty blogger. Blogger. So the first job, guys, it might still be too cold to use the water-fed pole. Uh, might just go ahead and do that traditionally, and then, uh, yeah. See what happens today. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be like, we're ahead of schedule. Or you're just not gonna film. It's not today. Okay, so first thing Rena and I do is we greet the customer, uh, give them a card, we go in with booties, um, then we'll collect all the screens. Um, we put the screens in piles of the level of the home. So this is first level, upstairs, basement. Uh, Rihanna will go inside and start on the interior window cleaning, and I will start on screen cleaning and then exterior window cleaning. We always cut a new rubber? Usually. Wouldn't you say you usually cut one for? Uh, like, I'm going to cut one for the next one. But if it's been a little, a little bit, we'll cut one. We clean our screens first so that they have time to dry after we're done cleaning them. And we do charge for screens. We charge $2 per screen. And the screen cleaner I was using, that is the Aztec screen washer, has been rebranded to the uh, Zero screen washer. I still have a sticker for it. I'll finish up with that house. We're at 
$425 for the day and it's 1030. Not bragging, some guys do way better. That's not too bad. We had a uh, commercial job early this morning before we did this house. So, not too bad. Did you get some like commercial? Store. It's like mid, mid size. It's kind of like commercial. We do this job every, every month. Every month. It's kind of a commercial job. I don't know if I'd really consider it a storefront. Yeah. Commercial. Yeah, that's one of those things. Like it's a commercial storefront. It's a Hybrid. Yeah. So Ray and I had a good idea we should come do the construction cleanup because we weren't far away. It's been snow and it's been ice over a whole lot anyways uh, we didn't take in consideration the mud pit we usually bring extra shoes for this and this one's exterior like only so we're both gonna have to be out in it so that sucks hi why you have that arm brace <laughs> I hit it I hit my elbow how many times like three times a week. <laughs> it was back in November. I specifically remember I hit it with, I hit it on the ladder rack, I hit it on something on the house, and then uh, I hit it with the water pit pole. A very small front. So those little things can really hurt me. So there was a, uh, some kind of mistake here. And they have a new cleaning lady. You look like a goddamn superhero. Oh, with little my red cape. Uh huh. <laughs> you know the sky is. <laughs> this is the uh, uh, fish scale tap by uh, Facelift. I'm trying it out here. Have you tried it out yet, Rain? Nope. I don't like the way it feels. It's a microfiber towel. I just don't. I don't know why no one can get the length right on these. Unger's micro swipe is too small. This thing is almost like scrim size, which is too big. I'm gonna clean this window. Okay. Come on down, Rihanna. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let me get your slipper. <laughs> we usually bring a second pair of boots. I'm sure we've said that, but we just kind of forgot today, and yeah. Also, can I say something cool? Yeah. Uh, Meyer soap is legit. Uh, Window Joe told us about it, and it's just ignore that. That's not what I'm trying to show. Them. But we've been adding Myers to our uh, Dawn, and it smells awesome, and it like adds just like the right amount of slip. So thank you, Window Joe. Joseph, everyone knows Joseph. So and who else does that little squirty bottle technique? That was Jordy, but Jordy is like much cooler than that. <laughs> he like does a crisscross thing and yeah. he dual wields I think I told balls. him, I told him that I couldn't get it down. Oh, you could get down this, you told Jordy? That you yeah, get it down? I told him I couldn't wet down one window without screwing up all the other ones I'd already done. Okay, we just finished the construction cleanup. We were there for about 45 minutes. 175 in the bank! And now we're gonna eat a quick lunch, go to the car wash, and rinse off our ladders because it was muddy, and then go downtown and clean another house. <laughs> Always problems, right? <laughs> it's the first time we've used the zero pier in a while. Running the cold water through the RO filter, sometimes you'll get some really bad pressure. And that just happened. So we have to go straight DI today. So that's the first time we ever had to do that. Um, and, uh, 
Oh, and you know, if, if it can happen, it will. I blew the tank, the, I blew the uh, DI tank, or the DI filter on the system. So I had to change that. Green is done with the inside, we just got the back to do and we should be done. Poof, the power of video, we're home. We ate Taco Bell. Aww. And then we're revoxing our friend Jordy from the window cleanse. All right guys, I guess that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the description below. Uh, I will leave links in this video to all of the tools that were featured uh, as a, as the, uh, like the Zero Ultimate, the Zero Pier, the Aztec Screen Washer, the Zero Screen Washer. We'll leave all of that in the description below because we always get questions about it. Okay, bye. Bye.